<laughs> Did you hit it? I, I don't know where. I know I hit it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before we get too deep into this testing, I wanted to go over a couple of things really quickly and then we'll get right to the shooting. Um, firstly, pardon the mess here, I'm working on a Rocketeer Jetpack Commission. I do commissions from time to time, uh, but they are not cheap. Uh, this one is going to be in aluminum, unlike the steel one I did last time, uh, so it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, anyway, back to the armor. So a lot of you were asking me um, how much it weighs. Uh, six and a half pounds, but it's hung off of the plate carrier, so you're not really feeling the weight of it so much. Um, it's certainly, you can tell it's there, but uh, it's not that bad. Mobility was also pretty good, uh, a little bit better than I expected, so I was pretty happy with that. Um, will I make them to sell? Very unlikely. I hated the process, and I really don't want to do any more of them. Uh, will I send one to Matt from Demolition Ranch? Um, Yes, if you guys let him know that this video exists and I made this thing and he reaches out to me, I will send him one. I'll make him a brand new one. He can test it. I actually have a few ideas on how to improve the design uh, since I finished the last one. Um, the reason that I will do that is because he's used to filming outdoors and, and, and does a really good job. I'm used to filming indoors under perfect lighting conditions and all that stuff. And uh, when I was filming outside, we were in the woods and there was a bit of... Uh, uh, blurry footage with the autofocus, which was uh, I couldn't tell looking at it in the uh, in the screen of the camera. But uh, when I got the footage home and looked at it, I saw what it was doing. So to make up for that, I'm going to uh, show you guys uh, close-ups uh, front and back in the shop, where you can see it a little bit clearer than you can in the actual video. Uh, but anyway, Matt would probably do a much better job of filming that, and he's probably a much better shot than we are anyway. So. Uh, let him know and maybe I'll send one. Anyway, let's get to the fun part. Enjoy the footage, guys. <laughs> All right, dude. <laughs> All right, ready? Okay, this is the test video for the bulletproof shoulder armor. I'm here with Jeremiah from Center Customs. He's going to be doing all the shooting for me so I can do the filming. Um, Definitely want to check his stuff out. There's a lot of gun stippling and, and gun customization. So thank you for helping me out today, buddy. Cool. Thanks for uh, having me. Yeah. All right. Let's get started. This is what we are going to be filming with. We have a Desert Eagle 50 caliber. We have, what is that, 9? Glock 19. Glock 19, 9 millimeter. Uh, that is my gun. That USP is a 40. USP 40 caliber. Um, these are AR-15s and an AK-47. I do not expect the AR-15 and the AK-47 to actually uh, be stopped by this thing, but we're going to shoot it anyway. And then this target, 115 grain for the 9 mil. I don't know what the 40 cal grain is. I'm not sure either. But they're, not, they're nothing crazy. It's usually just target ammunition we're going to be shooting at it. All right. Okay, just placed it and we're going to walk back about 10 yards. Hold on my... Let me come over. No, you're good. Ready? Yep. Did you get it? Yep. Suck. All right, let's go take a look at it. I want to keep it low because I want, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Didn't do Wow. Ooh. <laughs> Didn't do nothing. <laughs> Uh, flip it over, make sure it didn't go through and do anything stupid. Okay, all right, well, so far, looking good. Nine mil, definitely works against nine mil. Okay. Wow, that did way better Dude, than I thought. I, I, I don't think it'll touch until rifle. Yeah, all right. Well, touch until desert. Desert yeah, Eagle. Desert Eagle. Yeah. Till 50. Dude, that is oh, one. <laughs> All right.
right. All right. Um, you want to start down here? So what are we on now? This is 40, this right? Is 40 cal, and I'm assuming it's uh, just target ammo. Doesn't no no, just flat nose, nothing. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. You All right, you ready? Yep. All right, let's take a look. Nothing. Yeah, it did not go through. Look at that. Oh, you can see the slug. Huh. It's still in there. No penetration, stopped it. And that's probably the thinner part, right? No, it's all the is same. Is it all thickness. the same up yeah. here? Because this looks... I'm surprised these didn't pop off. Oh, They're just glued we're, on. We're saving this for later. <laughs> all right, next up is the 50. <laughs> this is going to do something to it. Dude, I can't believe it's not that... You want to go down there and start? Yep. Oh, this is going to be bad. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to hit it. All right. This is the very scary Desert Eagle, 50 caliber. I uh, have no idea what the grains and all that is. A lot. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Did you hit it? I, I don't know where. I know I hit it. <laughs> All right. Take a look at it. Good. No way. Look at that. Oh, no way. It didn't even knock this off. Wow. Wow, man. That's some good glue. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Did it land? It must have just deflected it. Wow, that Man. is impressive. That glue did fail there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow, we're moving on to rifles. Wow. Wow. I mean, I do have uh, self-defense, 9 mil, if you want to see what that does. Uh, yeah, go ahead. It looks like a flathead screwdriver. Go ahead. Or a Phillips head screwdriver. Wasn't a part of the plan. Okay, this was not part of the plan, but Jeremiah wants to shoot some uh, self-defense nine millimeter it's, out of uh, it. Nine millimeter plus P, sixty-five grain, eighteen hundred feet per second. Little Phillips head screwdriver looking thing. Right. We're gonna see what it does. What's your bet, guys? What do you think? We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Thing. It's gonna jump right off there. I mean, if it didn't do nothing at fifty. You ready? Yep. I'm gonna go right for the A. It okay, did, it did go in some. Oh, well, it got bulging. It but got bulged, no but did not go through. Well, oh, that's a lot of punch behind a little round too. If it didn't put that's that's amazing. It's a self-tapping bullet. <laughs> yeah, and it still didn't go all the way through. Mm -hmm. All right, hey, now we're gonna kill it. Yeah, rifles are definitely. You ready to kill it? So, but specify that. Yeah. Okay, so we did back up a little bit. This is probably 20 yards rather than 10. All right, you ready? Yep, well, hold on. Let me get you in the shot. Yep, we're good. <laughs> All right.
Was it this one? Yeah. That. No. We beat it. Yeah, but you know, honestly, I, I, you're still okay. You didn't get your arm blown off. Actually, I don't know. I think it just yeah. No, it went through. I'm pretty sure. I can't feel it. Yeah. I'm gonna feel this fiberglass though. <laughs> Stupid. I still think I'd take that over. Just get hit with nothing. It slowed it down. Okay. All right. I guess. Uh, Hit it with AR and see. I'm sure that'll go through, but yeah, I'm gonna, might as well finish I'm her gonna, off. I'm gonna put it here. All right. Okay, we're ready with AR-15. This is five five six. Uh, ten and a half inch. Upper. Ten and a half inch upper. All right. Checker. I can't remember where it was. I think this is it. And yeah, that went through too. Jay put that up. Oh, okay. But it, you know, it didn't, I mean, you see a little bit, it but. didn't hardly ding the cement though. Yeah, it didn't break it. You're still, uh, you're still hurting though. I'll yeah. probably give you a hell of a bruise though. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're not, you're, bone. you're, you're not, uh, uh, what was, uh, what was the movies with the, uh, Bruce Willis? Die Hard, you're not Die Hard in that one. <laughs> yeah. you knock it back in place, pull some glass out. <laughs> All right, the owner of the <laughs> Desert Eagle wants us to shoot it a little bit more point blank. So we're gonna let him creep up on it and hit it right in the Armor Templates logo. Yeah, yeah all right, that's close enough. Get out of my room. <laughs> oh, this is such a bad idea. Hold on, let me zoom into this, go ahead. <laughs> Did you hit it? It, yeah. yeah, the whole ground shifted. <laughs> where where was it? Damn, no, that one was the off. AR. Yeah. Where, whoever was it deflected off again. Yeah, was it there? Was I think it, I think I that was it. Maybe it, it hit there remain, again. Could have there nicked yeah. remain. It just not. It yep. will not penetrate. Right wow, around. that one went through, man. This was the AR. So the AR? Yeah. yeah. That bullet's just too big. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, you know what? The spike thing. We hit was that, that one before. I still don't want to get shot. That was your, your Phillips head. Yeah. That was the Phillips head. A K A R? Mm hmm. I don't know. That was a nine. Uh, that was, like nine. That was the first, first one. Nine. Yeah. 40. What was that one? I think that was your second shot. I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. I'll look back at the footage to see what's missing. Yeah, it, it hit. It wouldn't have moved it like that if it didn't. Oh, I'm, I'm it impressed. Had bolts in it? Um, just holding the straps, right? Mm All right, so that worked out pretty well. It's how I expected it to go. Uh, did not defeat any of the rifle rounds, but it did defeat the handgun rounds, and I'm pretty happy with that for, uh, for what it is. And it looks cool. I think I'll hang it up I in mean, the garage. I mean, you still don't lose an arm, even with the bigger rounds. Yeah, maybe. I'll take it. <laughs> I wouldn't want to carry it up a mountain, but... <laughs> anyway, thanks to Jeremiah Shu from Center Customs. Make sure to check his stuff out. And uh, thanks to Jay for letting us shoot here. And thanks to Randy for letting us shoot his gigantic pistol. 
All right, see you next time, guys. Be sure to see my full-length narrated tutorials where I show you how to make real armor with ordinary tools. Be sure to subscribe and click that bell so you get all notifications when I put out new videos. And if you want to see all the behind-the-scenes stuff, find me on Facebook and Instagram at the links you see on your screen. And while you're here, check out some of these other videos I've got. <laughs>